everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Amparucci and today you guys got to decide once again what type of cake you wanted me to make and Gravity Defying Cake got the most votes. So I decided to make this super cool upside down Gravity Defying Cake. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to click down below and subscribe to my channel. To get started, I'm going to start assembling the cake board. For this, I have two 7-inch round wood boards, which I've drilled a hole through the center of both of them. I have taco bolts, and this is 1 4th size in diameter, and it is 5 inches high. And what I did was I just screwed in the taco bolt through the hole that I drilled in the center of the board. And then I just screwed this nut all the way down to the bottom until it was nice and tight to hold it in place. And then I'm going to add another nut and stop it where I want the cake layer to be. And that is about 3 inches up. And then finally I'm going to add one more nut at the top to hold this in place. And then I'm going to fasten all the nuts and make sure that this is nice and sturdy for our cake. Now since our cake is going to be on this top cake board and there's a screw sticking out, we don't want the screw to come in contact with the cake. So what I'm doing is adding a jumbo straw onto here and it fits perfectly over the screw and that's going to protect the cake. I have baked two 6 inch round vanilla cakes. I let them cool and now I'm going to level them off so that we have a nice even surface. Now this exposed metal bolt in the middle of the cake board is going to be the birthday candle. So what I have here is some red and yellow fondant that I'm mixing together and I'm going to add this at the very bottom part and this is going to be the flame of the candle. And then the rest of the metal part is going to be the actual candle. So what I have here is some blue and purple fondant which I'm mixing together and I'm going to swirl this around the bolt and it's going to cover it and it's going to look like a candle. Now to add a little bit more detail because this is an upside down cake and the candle is melting upside down, I'm going to add some more fondant and make it look as if the wax is dripping down. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my first cake layer onto the cake board. Then I'm going to fill this with some delicious chocolate buttercream and then I'll add the second cake layer on top. I'm going to give this a nice crumb coat and let it chill. And then I'm going to give this two extra coats of buttercream because as you can see our cake board is 7 inches wide and our cake is only 6 inches wide. So I want to layer out the buttercream so that it kind of matches the circumference of the cake board. So now that we added the two buttercream layers, you can see that there's not that much space between the cake and the cake board, which is perfect. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it set for a few minutes. And meanwhile, we're going to start working on the decorations for the cake. So here I have a rainbow assortment of fondant colors. And what I'm going to do is make some sprinkles out of these. So I'm going to roll each color into a very thin tube and then I'm going to slice it into pieces to look like sprinkles. Once I'm done, I'm going to mix these all together to look like assorted sprinkles. Now we're going to cover our cake in fondant. So here I have some white fondant, which I've added a tiny bit of yellow fondant to just to give it that nice vanilla color. So I'm going to roll this out and place this over my cake to cover it. Now I realized after doing this video that it would have been much easier to assemble the cake and cover it before adding it onto the cake stand. So that's a nice tip to keep in mind if you want to recreate this cake. So after quickly smoothing the fondant around the cake, I come in with my X-Acto knife and I trim off the excess fondant around the bottom of the cake. Now I'm going to paint the fondant to make it look more like an actual vanilla sponge type cake. 
So what I have here is some brown and some golden yellow fondant, which I mixed with a little bit of vanilla extract, and I'm going to use a nice thick brush to paint this over the cake. And look at how delicious it looks like a yummy vanilla sponge cake. Now to add the frosting onto the cake, I have a tube of white fondant and I'm going to roll this out and then I'm going to cut out a wave pattern using my X-Acto knife. And I place this at the bottom part of the cake, which is really the top part of the cake because it's upside down. And then I add another piece, a little bit off-centered, more towards the bottom. So it looks like a layered cake with frosting in between each layer. Now I'm going to add the sprinkles that I made earlier. So I'm just going to grab a clean brush and brush some water all over the frosting parts. And then just kind of throw the sprinkles onto there. I'm also going to add a few sprinkles onto the bottom wood board just to make it look as if they're spilling out of the cake since the cake is upside down. And this amazing gravity defying upside down cake is complete. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also leave comments down below and let me know what other cake ideas you guys would like me to cake. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.